So we have the first two layers here. Now we're going to hit we're going to hit these edges over here. <clears throat> and the basic technique is put these edges in and then put this uh, put this corner in. So let's start off perhaps here. Why don't we do the green, uh, the light blue and the green because I've got this over here. So this is easy enough. It's really the same technique of just turning things around by that algorithm that um, that switches things around. So that, that turns the inner or the outer edges depending on, on what I want. So I don't want to move these inner edges around, just the outer edges. So if I turn it here, from here, this should rotate exactly where I want it here. Will it do it? Sure, have faith in the algorithms. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, boom. And just as promised, we have delivered this onto its mark. Next, light blue and beige. Where's a light blue and beige? So this takes a little bit of hunting around, but right over here. So how many moves will it take to bring this guy to here. Well, what I could do is maybe cheat a little bit and go like one, two, three, and then move this here. What I'll then do is do the algorithm to move this to here, which I can do because now this is bandaged and this is bandaged. So I won't change the confirmation that I just put this in. So boom, 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 boom. And now we carefully move back that which we took out. Okay, so we managed to bring it over here, so now it's just a matter of rolling it over to here. So same thing, we can do it from this direction, but we want to protect this guy over here. So why don't I go like one, two, three? Because here, this won't change, but these guys are free to rotate. One, two, three, kerplop. And there it is, so bring it back down. All right, so it's really just a matter of working these things out like that. So this is in, this is in. Now, what I think I'm going to do is, before putting these guys in, is I'm just gonna keep filling these uh, these edges in. It might be easier for me to, to do that. Uh, so anyway, that's right over here, this purple and green, so I'm just gonna move that in the same way without wrecking these guys. Turn it like this, turn it once more. And what that'll do is that'll allow these guys to move freely. Turn, 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 one, two, three, kerplop, and there it is. So turn it down. All right, so this is not the hard part either. That comes in easily. How about the purple and white? Let's find that somewhere here. Aha, purple and white here. So can I cheat a little bit? Well. Not really, because we're already over here. And I really would rather keep the inner edges in association with each other, so it's going to be hard to move things around. So what I'm going to do instead, if we think about this, is we're going to see if we can't journey this around. Bring this up to here first. So let's do that. Now, if this comes up to here, let's think about this. This purple one is going to be here. Then I can wrap this around to here. But the purple one is going to be on the opposite side. It's, it's going to be on the wrong side. So what if I were to turn this upside down first? How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that by orbiting this down to here. Which is going to be a little difficult because I don't want this to get knocked out. So I'm just going to move this up like so. So basically what that means is if I move this to here and this to here, that's gonna mess with what I just did here. So I'm gonna move this up. Now the good thing about this is that by moving this to here, um, I'm not gonna change any of these because this is bandaged. So I'm free to go like boom, 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 boom. So there it is over here, didn't do anything to this. So I could actually maybe even move this up here if I wanted and just kinda see where things are at. So that was pretty good. So now I can move this to here and it's gonna be in, in the right place. So we're going to wind this around, hold it from this perspective so those inner edges don't move. Outer edge should rotate here just fine. Turn, 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 one, two, three, turn, and lo and behold, there it is. So just have to move this down to here, orbit that down to there. So here's a, I can hold it from this perspective. This will be protected and this will end up moving down to here, no problems. R, U, R, I, U, R, 
preview. Boom, and there it is, okay? So we're just sidewinding our way down. This is here. This is in, but we don't care about that yet. Okay, how about yellow and white? Yellow and white just happens to be here. What I'd like to do is move this down to here because then I'll have the yellows coinciding with each other. So if I hold it here, I have to protect these two over here, which I will. This is facing me, this is just to the left, so this will quite easily move down to here. So R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, R, I, and there it is here as promised. Now it's just a matter of wheeling this down to here. So I could, this, this has to wheel down, wasn't quite ready. So let's do it again, R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, bang, and there it is over here. Now I just have to wheel this down to here. So holding it over here, these two aren't gonna move, so I have to turn it like this. Now they can rotate. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, R, I. You know, when I modded this, I think I might've tightened this screw a little bit too much. It's kinda a little hard on the wrist here. But anyway, this is in now. This is in yellow and blue. So, well, it's already here. So this is remarkably easy, but it doesn't matter where it is. You can just keep doing the algorithm to rotate it around. We have plenty of banded sides to um, be able to use that, which makes this a little bit easier, I found, than, than the Mars um, Mega Minx. But in any case, holding it here, should be able to move this to its mark. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, bang. And there it is. Green and blue. All too easy, it's right here. It's almost like I planned it this way, but I didn't. Anyway, hold this over here, and this should move this here just fine without moving anything out. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, and again. One, two, three, bang, and there it is. Okay, green and pink right over here. So this, you guessed it, move this to here and this down to here. So hold it in this position so that this can rotate. So I have to go just to the side of a, of a bandaged, which is this. This won't, these two won't move, these two won't move. So I'm just gonna move this up like this and this can now come to here. R, U, R, I, U, R. Once you get the hang of this, because it's really fairly simple in its application, you can actually start to move pretty fast. So now this is in place, bop that down. This moves down to here. So I can, uh, well, let's position it like this. Yeah, no. Yeah, why not? Sure. So to position like this, I want this to be protected, so this comes down here. Only pro okay, no, that's fine, no problems. So this pink will roll down to here, this outer to inner. R U, R I U R. One two three, bang. Did it do it yet? No, not yet. One two three, bang. There it is. Move it back. So how we doing? One more to go. Actually, two more. One more side to go from this angle. Gray and pink, right over here. So with it being right over here. If I wanted the gray and pink, notice this is in between two bandaged sides, which means I can move this up like this, move it to the, uh, to the top, and then move this to the side here. Then I can just swing this down here. As long as I move things back, I'm not gonna change my configuration here. So F, R, I, F, I, R, puts that here, and I'll carefully move everything back from whence it came. Didn't miss anything else up, but I was able to effectively move that here. So now this gets rolled to here, just adjacent to a banded side here, which would be this. These two, uh, this won't be able to make it into here unless I go like one, two. This is not a protected side. This is not a protected side. So we have at it. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, bang. And it's in, and we turn it in. Piece of cake. Gray and this thingy over here, beige. Yep, right over here. Okay, well, I could probably do the same thing. Move this to here. So let's move this up. 
move it here. We're in between two banded sides, so I can throw caution to the wind. Well, actually, I don't want to make it upside down, so I'll turn it once more. And now that same pattern here. This is now in here, and we just carefully reconstruct everything back. So now that this is here, this gets rolled into here. Do it from this angle, this is protected. These guys are free to move. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, bang, and not yet. Two, three, pow, and there it is. Okay, so what you see is we have all of these edges in, and it was fairly simply done just by placing everything with that, uh, with that rotatory technique. Now the next step is I'm going to put these in. Now that I've surrounded, by, surrounded it by the inner and outer edges, I want to put the corner in here now. So, purple, green, dark green, and white. Purple, dark green, and white. So I'm going to do this exactly like I do with a Megaminx. And I'm going to throw caution to the wind with everything that I've done. I shouldn't mess that up. I might start taking these out, but you're going to find they're pretty easy to put in. Because once I put this in here, it's locked in. So whatever I do up here to, to put in what I took out isn't going to mess it up. So the way that I solve it with the Mega Minx is with this up here, I turn this edge in a position that can work with this to roll it in and just use the small motions of doing R moves and this D move to roll it in. So this comes down, across, up. Obviously it's not in. Back, boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. You could probably do it a little bit differently than I'm doing it, but I like to do small motions. So now this is in and I just move it down. Now generally, generally when I do that, things tend to be okay, but every so often I get this happening, a little bit of an exchange. But the good news is, whatever happens up here, I can do small movements to put it in without affecting these sides over here. So here it's just a matter of rotating these back in. So I'm going to go turn. So go turn, 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 and turn. Just a couple of motions put these back in. None of these were messed up. And this is still in here. So, so silver, pink, and beige. Silver, pink, and beige. Now, if you have a situation where you don't have anything up here, you can move it in from one of these guys just by doing movement up here and um, well, well, we'll maybe get into that if, if we have such an opportunity, but the same kind of thing. Move this to the side so that I can move it in in accordance to this edge over here, moving this corner in here. So move this up here and just do small motions. Turn, 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 boom, 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 bang, 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 bang. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this is actually color-coded correct, so now we turn it down. And in this particular case, this is in, but we ended up moving some of these out. So we just find the directions at which we can, we need to put these back in. So first off, what I would do is exchange these guys. So that would be, move it here, say, turn, turn, turn. So this is now in. Notice we didn't touch what we put in, so no problems. And let's see what happened here, okay? Now what's happened here is these got messed up, but that's okay. If we just have two in and the rest are out, then we can just do the algorithm that spins these around, protecting these sides here. So if I hold it here, everything will be fine. Protected, protected, these will all spin in. R, U, R, I, U, R, one, two, three, bang. Now I'll tell you that doing it this way, it's never going to get more complicated than this. In other puzzles, maybe, but not in this one. So we just have to do a little bit of cleanup afterwards. So this is in, this is in. Let's find the yellow, white, and blue. And just start doing it. Okay, so here's the yellow, white, and blue. What I have to do is I have to move this up here. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to borrow a technique that we just learned when we were placing these corners. It's the same thing. Because that's ultimately what we're going to be doing. After we get all this in, we're going to be putting these edges in. Then we're going to be putting these corners in. So I'm going to jump a step here and blast this out. And I'm going to blast this out by pretending like I'm putting one of these in. And it doesn't matter which one because I'm not really focusing on that. So I'm going to pretend like this has to come down here. So as you recall, this is rotated down. 
This edge was brought up, so I turn it over here, move this up, and it doesn't matter if this is coordinated right, double turn it here, up, up, and down. If I do that pattern, I know I'm not going to change the configuration of these, but what I did do is I blasted the one that I wanted out of here, up here somewhere. So let's find it. I believe we were working on, um, I believe we were working on the yellow, white, and blue. Is it up here? Yep, yellow, white, and blue. Okay, so now that we blasted that out safely, we just roll it in the same way. This comes here, turn, 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 boom, 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 bang, 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 bang. Have faith, we're not messing things up totally. Anyway, this is in, turn it down, now this is in. Now we do our cleanup. Now in this particular case, uh, okay, this, this got blasted out which is fine. All I have to do is turn this to the side. And because we're at the side of a bandaged area, just bang, bang, zoom, and all is right with the world. Okay, so in, in, green, blue, and pink. Yeah, as I suspected, these two are locked in to each other. So we do have to get this out. And these are the remaining ones here. Okay, so the way to do that is let's just pretend we're putting this one in. So it really doesn't matter. It's really not, not too difficult. So I'm going to move this up here, and I'm just going to do an exchange for this to this. Turn, 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 turn. Um, now, this will have been batted out, so maybe I can do it again. Turn, 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 turn. Turn. Okay, the reason that I did that is because that put these back in so I don't have to deal with that. I was able to do that pattern enough to where these um, uh, edges were, were placed back. But we did put this out. So let's find out where it's supposed to go. Right over here. So I managed to, to, to bring that out. That made sense. So now this is going to be rolled in conjunction with this. Move this up. Do small motions to, to roll this into here. Okay. Turn, 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 and it's already in configuration. Turn it down, and there it is. Okay. Once I do that, fix what we destroyed over here. And it looks like it's going to be uh, these guys. Now, this is a little different because we have two non-bandaged um, ones that we're working with. But it will be simple because... This is bandaged over here, so all you have to do is turn, one, two, turn, one, two. Now the reason why we're not messing anything up here is, as I said, it's locked in. All we're doing is we're messing around these guys, but we're not, we're not on these edges yet, these corners yet. So now we just have this one, which should have been blasted out, and it was, and it is right over here. So we're going to want to move this up by, say, exchanging it with this one. So turn. Turn, turn, one, two, bang, bang, down. Might as well turn that back. Okay. So now we move this down here by the usual mechanism. Put this here. Coordinate it with this edge. Roll it in with that edge over here. Turn, 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 turn. As you can see, this is in. Turn it down. Okay. Do our cleanup. These guys need to be fixed. Easily done. Let's put all of these edges back in, just for kicks. Yeah, really doesn't matter. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. These two are in, these two aren't. The way that I'm going to do it in this case... Uh, let's see the best way to do this. Probably going to make this more complicated than I need to. All right, so purple and blue are here. What I need is I actually need the yellow one next to it. I can't turn it from here because these are locked in. It won't, it won't change the configuration. It won't rotate these around. So I'm going to turn it over here so that I can have this non-bandage just to the side and turn this over here. Now I can do it to where this is going to be locked in, this will be locked in, and I'm going to wait for the yellow one to be over here. So R-U-R-I-E-U-R, one, two, three... 
bang, there's that yellow. Turn it and no worries. Okay, so now that's done with that. Now these are all in. These are where they, I wanted them to be.